It's my big pleasure to meet today Professor Johann Kohler from the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology. He's a multi-awarded professor with a special focus on power electronics. So I would like to hear from you since you have been from the beginning with the energy efficiency movement, what role do you expect and see in that movement? So uh, thank you very much for the invitation to this interview. I mean, the energy efficiency movement is a great initiative. I mean, if you look at the modern society, still more energy is wasted than used. So we need to make people aware of energy efficiency, provide tools, provide concepts, finally solutions which allow to make it a reality in industry, a reality which is economically viable, I think speaking with the perspective from industry. Thank, thank you very much. What vision do you expect or foresee for the energy efficiency movement moving into the future? My vision, my vision actually goes beyond the energy efficiency movement. I would see energy efficiency as a first main important part. I think there is material efficiency or resource efficiency and there is, of course, economic efficiency. And we need to bring this in some way together. And my vision would be that we finally make a fully renewably powered society, which is circulating the resources a reality. And you could say my vision is to transition from the energy efficiency movement to an energy transition movement into a circular economy movement. Th thank you for sharing. So there's still obviously a way to go, but absolutely right and, and underlined correctly. Since you are from the academia, um, what role do you see between the uh, industries and the academia and what value can the academia create? Yeah, I think in general, I mean, we here at ETH, especially in power electronics, are closely related to industry. Our research projects are mainly powered by industry. I mean, we have research collaborations. We have uh, some 30% of share of strategic research. In general, we have a beyond tomorrow horizon. Industry, to our understanding, needs to provide a solution today, which is economically viable. And of course, there is a need for educated people, for engineers. And this is, I think, uh, a very interesting forum then for discussion to understand the different positions and maybe to also provide our education to the point needed for engineers in industry, which finally make energy efficiency, energy transition and circular economy happen. Thank you very much for your time and I'm really looking forward for our continuing journey uh, in the future for a more energy efficient economy and following then the transition. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for having me. It's my very, very pleasure. Thank you.